Hey everybody, this is Brian from PNB Homesteading. I want to do the update for the mid-sized grow tent and show you the update for the tomatoes and the peppers that I've seeded, along with a change that I've made back to this tent because I wasn't happy with the lettuce germination, well not germination, but growth rate. So let me grab the camera and I'll show you. So as far as the tent goes, I went ahead and brought back in these two uh, T10 lights with the LEDs because, I mean, as you can see, I'm not too pleased with the amount of growth I'm getting off of my, my lettuce greens. And so, the, you know, the, the regrow tray seems to be, you know, okay. But I was, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't seeing the regrowth that I wanted to see for any of my trays. So I put these lights back in. So that way I'm gonna be getting, uh, I, wanna, I wanna pump up this regrowth inside of here because Paula and I have been basically exclusively eating kale and the stuff we've been scavenging from outside for our salads. And I wanted to get back to having, you know, our overabundance of gourmet lettuce blend and all the different types of lettuce blends that we grow inside this tent. So this should really increase the production again. And then that middle tray there, I'm probably just gonna toss here because it didn't really ever take off. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And then I'll go back to my two trays per shelf. But, uh, you know, and I'm happy with these lights. These, these are those King Bows that I bought to replace the two that uh, were flaking out and I'm still waiting to receive those parts. They must have shipped them uh, just regular mail. I don't know, it wasn't through FedEx or through the Amazon Prime shipping me the replacement parts to rebuild those lights. And when I rebuild those, I'll, I'll show you guys what I turn those into once I get the new panels and take the old ones and put in the new uh, LED circuit driver. But all the other plants, you know, we do have good germination on these other trays. So with the, the lights back replaced inside this tent, I should get these growing up to where we could actually start harvesting again, you know, a tray or two a week. You know, that tray down there, it's ready to go. So at least we'll be able to have salads for Taco Tuesday this week. And then over here, I wanted to kind of, I pulled out the tomato tray and I wanted you guys to be able to see the, uh, the different ones outside the tent to show their growth. And I did thin, I thinned out the pink boards to where there's just two tomatoes in each one of those now. There was like four and sometimes there was five popped up in there, so I thinned them out to just two, and I'm gonna let those go, and then I'll probably, you know, eventually cut off whatever one's the slower grower of the uh, the pair, and then I'll just let the one grow out of that. Or I may, I may leave a couple where there's two in there just to see how they do, because I do bury these down deep, so once they get, you know, tall, I usually get them about, you know, six inches, you know, hopefully maybe 12 inches by the time I put them out at the end of May, then uh, I'll bury those down, you know, double their depth that they are in the soil so that way then those two could actually just spread out and then there'll be two plants instead of one i did that a couple of plants last year i think for the uh, montesinos but this year i only have the single montesinos and then i thinned out the most bitch because there were some of these had two seeds popping up so i thinned them out to just have one plant per you know cell and then on the matt's wild so let's go through the list here i guess so there's matt's wild cherry tomatoes we got all of them germinated except for two, so we got eight out of 10. And then we've got 10 out of 10 for the Montesinos. Uh, pink boar, great germination rate. And those are the ones where I saved the seeds from last year. And uh, I was worried that I wasn't gonna have good germination. And you know, I sometimes I drop four seeds in a cell and I got like 100% germination on those seeds. So I'm really happy about that because you know, if you can save your own seed, you're gonna save yourself money. Uh, Crimson Sprinter, 100% germination, along with the Moskvich, 100%. And then over here we have the uh, black Hungarian pepper and the uh, sweet chocolate pepper. I don't see anything coming up out of those yet, but they've only been in there a week. So, you know, I'm not expecting too much out of those at this point. But, uh, you know, I always love to see the little seedlings pop up because then I know something good's going to come out of it by the, you know, middle of summer. I'll be getting some, some, uh, something to, I don't know, <laughs> to show my accomplishment and, and give me satisfaction. But uh, that's kind of the update for the mid-sized tent. So this has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. Hope you guys had a great weekend, and I'll talk to you guys again. Bye.